Hi, this is Teacher Maria of the Kiris Academy. Join with me as we discuss lessons worth learning. Today, we will be discussing about chemical change. Last video, we discussed about physical change. So check that video also. And now, what is chemical change? Take note that in chemical change, a material changes in appearance and composition and a new product is formed and the original material can no longer be identified so there are four evidences of chemical change formation of a new product formation of gas release or absorption of heat formation of a precipitate so these are the examples of chemical change Let's go. I will show you something. I have a piece of paper and a lighter. Okay, here. I'm going to light the, the paper. Now you can see it's burning, right? What have you observed? You can see ashes and smoke. So this is an example of chemical change. How about this candle? Let's try it. Oh, it's melting. And you can see also smoke. This is an example of chemical change. I have here sugar. If I'm going to melt this sugar using water, is there another product produced? Or is there another substance produced or formed? No. It's still sugar, right? But if we are going to burn this one, is there any chemical formation? Yes. If we're going to burn this sugar, we can see ashes, we can see smoke, right? So there will be another substances or product being formed. So you try it. Therefore, burning sugar is an example of chemical change. Rotten fruits, rotten apple, rotten mango, or rotten vegetables. Example of chemical change. But slicing it, slicing apple, slicing vegetables is an example of physical change. Rusting nails is an example of chemical change. Baking soda mixed with vinegar is an example of chemical change. Spoiled milk is an example too as well as burning of wood and digested food is an example of chemical change. And that's the end of our lesson for today. Yes, it's true that change is the only constant thing in this world. We might experience change in our personal life, right? But let's always remember that God never changes. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and comment down below what will be our next lesson. This is Teacher Maria once again of the Q's Academy.